Hey, welcome back to Five Alex Garage because we're back on our 1989 Grand Wagoneer. Alright, so if you saw some other videos, you saw that I did have a, quite a few projects left on the old girl here. And we've already did the catalytic converter, we already did the muffler, and it sounds great. It's a little too loud on some of the uh, rev ranges, but we'll deal with that at a later date. So today, I'm going to go ahead and wire it up for a trailer. Now it does have a tow hitch, it does have wiring underneath. Uh, they do sell little brackets and, and plugs and all that stuff for these vehicles. I did not pick one of those up because I'm going to do it a little bit more, I guess, old school and a little bit more DIY because these things were cheap. Now, now all I did was actually pick up a little module. Uh, I got it just off the web. I don't know where I got it from. But anyway, it has the four pin connector for your trailer, but it also has a bunch of little wires here. Now, the green one here is nice and long because it's supposed to go all the way over to the other side. Now, you could wire all this up from underneath. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to wire it from inside. Now I'm going to do it inside because I'm going to be uh, splicing into different types of wires using t a couple different types of splices, but um, I'd much rather have it on the inside because then it'll be more weather protected. So anyway, let's dive right in because I've talked too much and you want to know how the heck to do it. That's the reason why you clicked on the video. Boom! All right, so back here we are on the driver's side and I just pulled the little panel off the back of the, the wagon here. Now all I have here is a basic little test light. It has a point on one end, it's got a ground on the other. And what it's gonna do is uh, light up that little tiny bulb when there's actually power going through it. Because what we wanna do is actually find out what the wiring diagram is of this. So I can actually look it up, sure. Or I can just test it out. Now I do have my left blinker on. I'm just gonna go ahead and ground it to my ground right there. And this is my plug for the actual lights itself. Now I'm just going to touch each one. Oh, there we go, there's my first one. See, hopefully you can see, oops, if I can get it in there, uh, that I'm lighting up. So I know that this one right here is actually the left blinker. Now I'll put my plug back on close to it. I see that is my green. Now, I would have to say that the green from this side and the green from that side are both the blinkers, one for the left, one for the right. So this is where we're going to be splicing it in. Now, there are other things that you need to connect up, like brake lights. Let's go find out where the brake lights are. All right, had to use my torque wrench to actually push the brake down because I am by myself this evening. Um, so, same concept, gonna take my little probe. All right, so we have the brake light on, so let's find out which one is the brake. Nope, nope. Yep, there it is right there. If I put my plug on there, it is the pink wire. All right, pink is break. Go ahead and write it down. Oh, hello there. Thanks for watching. And if you really like it, go ahead and hit subscribe. If you really like it, go ahead and hit the like button. And go ahead and comment because I want to hear what you have to say. Could be good, could be bad. I don't know. Let me know. And if you really want to send anything to the channel, help us out, whichever, here's a P.O. box that we opened up in case you want to send something. I'll do a video and see what it is. Have fun. Enjoy the rest of the show. All right, last but not least, we do have the running light. We do need to have that, so let's find out which one that one is. All right, so it'll be this one, which is the white wire all right that's pretty much all you really need to know i'm gonna go ahead and turn everything off so i don't kill my battery and then let's see what kind of connectors we're actually going to use to splice into those wires bye bye don't need you okay so this is one way that we can actually hook it up now i went ahead and put it on here just to show you that i don't like these uh what this is is actually a oh uh, sorry a small connector you put the straight wire through and then you just stick the other wire right in, just like this one right here. And then you're going to close this little clap, this little flap. And what, whoops, what this is going to do is push this little connector down and actually go through the insulation on both wires. Now this will complete this, complete the circuit most of the time. Now the only problem with those is that you wiggle this or whatever. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, if I look on this, so. I have my running lights on. Now my running lights are going to be my brown wire on 
this uh, connector right here, which will be right there. And as you can tell, I got nothing. Now if I take my white wire and squeeze it, I don't know if I can do it with my fingers, take my pliers, there you go. So now it's, now it's in there. Now, I could probably get this to work, but I don't like it. So, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it, splice it in there, and I'm going to do it my way. Because I'm going to do it. That's right. And I'll show you exactly what you're going to need. As soon as I take this crap off. So, the alright, so this is basically what we're going to do. Um, now, I would have to admit, I mean, there are two different colors here. One is red, one is blue. They're for different gauge wires. Uh, basically this, uh, once you split it, uh, peel all the insulation off, they're basically the same gauge uh, from the kit to this, but this stuff here is like 30 some years old. The insulation's a little bit harder, a little bit brittle. That's one reason why I had a hard time actually cutting through. And then actually, once I actually cut through here, manually to actually re, uh, splice it back in i noticed that it actually cut a lot of the strands in the actual wire so again i don't like these but i was going to at least show you so uh so what i did was actually take some heat shrink and put it over here and then i just kind of twisted the wires together that's kind of like what i tend to do uh most of the time uh depending on what it is i might put solder on it, i might put a butt joint or whatever but i do like this uh pretty good uh mostly because the heat shrink actually goes across it and it weather tights it a little bit uh now this isn't the best heat shrink in the world but it will be okay there you go all right so i have my heat shrink all the way up to here and my splice is way back here so i should have plenty of room now gotta shrink it so I use fire. All right, when you're using a torch, it doesn't take much. So as you can tell, it each shrinked it really nice. We should be ready to go. So now let's test it. Let me put a blanker on. All right, a couple different things. Always make sure hey, your real stuff is actually working. That's more important than this wiring that we're doing. All right, so we got our plug here. We have our little test light. Now, got yellow, there we go. So there we go, we have our left turn signal. And I don't think I have my lights on yet. So I'll check my lights, check my turn signal, and then they're also going to be break. So test them all, make sure they all work. Now, what I'm gonna, so what I'm gonna do now is actually run my green wire, which is this guy right here, all the way across. Try to keep it away from anything sharp and go ahead and splice and do the same thing I did on the other side. And then we're going to test it all out and then we should be ready to go. Um, I'm just going to tuck it into the corner here and I'm not going to let it hang out like some people do. Uh, only take it out when I'm actually towing the boat. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get that and I'll be right with you. Uh, I do need to put the game on because uh, my boys are out. They can't, they can't play apparently. Can't play in the playoffs. Anyway, be right back. All right, got it all wired up. Now let's go ahead for the one of the final tests. Now the final test really is gonna be hooking up to a trailer and testing it all out. But this is what we got. Put it in here on the green wire. Here we go. So the green wire would be the right turn signal. So as you can see, bam, got it right. Let's go for the yellow wire. Yellow wire should be the left turn signal. Bam, look at that. All right, so one la uh, two last ones, I guess. We have the running lights. Let me turn that off. Bam! One last one. We need to hit the brake. So I'm gonna go ahead and rig that up and we should be able to get it from the green and the yellow wire because they're on the same circuit. One second. All right. Oh my gosh. Look at that. 100% working. That is awesome. I just need to fix up my wire here so it doesn't get caught on anything. If I hit some, um, some uh, hit it with the screws and clean it all up and then we'll put everything back together and then tomorrow when it's daylight i'll hook up a trailer just to do the final test but i think as of right now we are ready to go and the next time i want to take the boat out i'm going to take it with this thing because that's going to look awesome vintage being towed by vintage it's going to be awesome yeah i'm so excited you should be too because now 
you know a quick and easy way of doing it without being afraid of it. Just splice in some wires and you're good to go. Just be safe. Use some heat shrink. Keep it weather tight. And uh, <clears throat> if you want to use solder, use solder. You want a butt connector, use a butt connector. You know, whichever. I like to do the twisty twist. Heat shrink on top. Works like a champ. I haven't had any really big problems with it. So go ahead and do it. You go have fun. Enjoy. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to back up to the utility trailer and go ahead and light them up. Join me. Let's go. Hey, look. It's raining. Yeah. So i got to be quick. All right. Let's check this out. So all I did was actually hook it up to the actual wiring of the utility trailer. I want to put you back here, and then we're going to test it. Like true, true tests. Yes, we can actually use the uh, all the other stuff that we tested with, test lights, some of that. This is the ultimate test. Make sure everything is working the way it's supposed to do. Hey, how do you like my new camera? Yeah, I kind of like it. All right, left side, let's see what we got. All right, driver's side looks great. Let's go over to the passenger side. If I can get over there, there's a bush in the way. All right, totally stoked that everything is working just like it's supposed to. Uh, there is a slight delay because I am using that little uh, module. It takes a few seconds for it to actually transmit, uh, which should be should be fine. Uh, but anyway, hey look, there's a the boat it's just sitting there because uh, it's cold outside. And fishing is not the greatest right now. Anyway, uh, make sure you check out all of our other videos. Uh, this is just something quick, simple. Uh, just go ahead and uh, do it yourself. Yeah, uh, I don't. And again, I don't like those little uh, crimp connector things. Uh, just go ahead and wire it up. It's not a big deal. Uh, there's a lot better products than what I picked up here. Uh, they have some that have the LED lights on it, so you don't even have to use a test light. Um, but and there's also some other brands that actually hook up to the factory wire and harness, but those are more expensive and more specific. And really, it's kind of hard to find one for something this old. New ones, plug it in and roll with it. So anyway, until next time, take it easy, have fun. Go ahead and check out some of our other videos. Check out our other channel at Five Lakes ODL, which would be outdoor living. And you'll see us on that boat catching some big fish. Anyway, take it easy, have fun. Later.